Vector and matrix algebra, seventh uh, exercise, convert the following Cartesian subscript summation expressions into vector notation. So part A, V sub I, A sub J, B sub I, E sub J hat. So let's work on this. We have V sub I, A sub J, B sub I, E sub J hat. Now if I uh, regroup the ones that have the same uh, subscript, V I, B I, then I have A J, E J hat. And this I can recognize V I, B I is the dot product of a vector v with a vector b and a j e j hat would be the components of the vector a in e j hat direction so this will give me the vector a itself so my answer is v dot b vector a let's look at the part b c a sub i b sub j delta i j so we have a constant C, A sub I, B sub J, delta I, J. The Kronecker delta tells me I and J must be equal. So this is C times A, I, B, I. If they're not equal, we have zero. And A, I, B, I once again gives me the dot product between two vectors A and B. So this is a constant C multiplied by the dot product of the two vectors A dot B. So that is C times A dot B. Let's look at part C. A sub L, B sub J, E K hat, epsilon I, J, K, delta L, I. All right, so we have a sub L, B sub J, E K hat, Epsilon I J K, and Kronecker delta L I. Okay, so let's write it this way. Let's have the Levi-Civita symbol up front, Epsilon I J K, and A sub L, Kronecker delta L I, so let's put these together, and then I have B sub J and E K hat. Now you can see that the Kronecker delta implies L and I are equal, so this is epsilon I J K A I B J E K hat. Now this I recognize. Epsilon I J K A I B J E K hat is actually uh, the kth component of A cross B in E K hat direction, which gives me the cross product. A cross B. E. Okay, so A cross B's kth component is epsilon I J K A I B J. So we can see that uh, this vector K component multiplied by E K hat is the vector itself A cross B. Part D a sub i b sub j c sub l d sub m epsilon i j k epsilon l m k what is this a sub i b sub j c sub l d sub m epsilon i j k epsilon l m k so uh, that means I have the product of two Levi-Civita symbols with the 
common index in the same position, the last position, that means I can use the Lebesivita identity, first, seconds, minus inners, outers. Uh, so this gives me a sub i, b sub j, c sub l, d sub m, Kronecker delta, first indices i l, second indices j m, minus inner indices j l, and then outer indices i m. So I've used the Levisivita identity. So this gives me, let's see, uh, so this says L's will be replaced by I and M's will be replaced by J. So A sub I, B sub J, C sub I, D sub J. Okay, minus, and then this says uh, L's will be replaced by J and M's will be replaced by I. So A, I, B, J, C, J, and D, I. M is replaced by I. Now I can see that I have... Uh, a, I, C, I, and B, J, D, J. So this is A, I, C, I, B, J, D, J, minus A, I, D, I, grouping the ones with the same index, B, J, C, J. So uh, this implies, if I copy this here, This expression implies uh, I have a dot product between two vectors A and C and then I have the dot product between two vectors B and D uh, minus I have the dot product between vectors A and D and dot product between vectors B and C. So that's what this means in vector notation. Okay, so we have converted the subscript summation notation expressions to vector notation. First one, V i a j b i e j hat. We group the ones that have the same index, V i b i, V i b j delta i j, the same thing. This is the dot product between V and B. A j e j hat describes the vector A. C, A sub I, B sub J, Kronecker delta I, J, A, I, B, J, Kronecker delta I, J is the dot product between A and B and multiplied by a constant C. In part C, I have A sub L, B sub J, E, K hat, epsilon I, J, K, delta L, I. So L has been turned into I here so that I obtained epsilon I, J, K, A, I, B, J, uh, E, K hat. And this is nothing but the K component of the a cross B uh, vector product, uh, so multiplied with E k hat, that gives us the A cross B cross product. Uh, and the last part, A I B J C L D M, epsilon I J K, epsilon L M K, since K is in the same uh, last position here, I don't have to worry about using the cyclic permutations to find the um, correct sign, plus or minus here, when I change the order of indices. Uh, I can use the Levisivita identity. First, the Kronecker delta IL, seconds, Kronecker delta JM, minus inners, Kronecker delta JL, Kronecker delta IM, outers. So, uh, Ls are replaced by I, Ms are replaced by J, and here, in the, in the minus term, uh, Ls are replaced by J, and Ms are replaced by I, and then I identify the dot products. A, I, C, I is A dot C, B, J, D, J is B dot D, A, I, D, I is A dot D, and B, J, C, J is B dot C.